Hi, welcome to the KD Cyber Talks. This video is very important for those who are preparing for the CCSP exam. There are some upcoming changes in the CCSP exam format, especially uh, which are being effective from August uh, 2022. For now, um, the, the, the candidates who are appearing for the CCSP exam before that, they will continue with the current format, but August 2022 onwards, this change will become effective. In terms of the weightage in the different domains, we have no change in domain one for cloud concept architecture and design. We have a 1% increase in uh, the domain 2 that is uh, cloud data security. Domain 3 and domain 4 there is no change this remains as is. Domain 5 it is uh, you know reducing the weightage from 17 percent to 16 percent. Domain 6 legal risk and compliance this remains same there is no change in terms of weightage. So, it is only 1% which is reduced from domain 5 and it has increased the same 1% uh, in domain 2 for uh, cloud data security. In domain 1, we have a um, few changes, few reshuffling uh, in terms of topics. We have added, um, you know, um, data science in this domain. And there is a uh, few more things like confidential computing, DevSecOps. Now, these uh, topics are being added uh, um, officially in this exam. Security hygiene that is related to the patching, baselining, and anything that is related to the, uh, the security hygiene, not just patching and baselining, it is officially being added in domain one. Um, cloud design patterns is now added in this domain. Uh, DevOps security. So, DevOps security means uh, when we say uh, there is there is a difference between DevSecOps and DevOps security. So, DevSecOps is when the, the development operations um, go hand in hand with the security uh, activities that is DevSecOps and integrating the different tools in the DevOps infrastructure. While the DevOps security, it is the security of the DevOps infrastructure this is this has nothing to do with the the secure development life cycle this is basically the security of the devops infra domain 2 uh, is introducing like data flow um, while in terms of the uh, the data the the uh, the weightage of this domain it has increased uh, 1% of the weightage and now it is uh, you know it has increased to 1%. Now, the weightage remains at 20%. So, what is being added here? The data flow. Uh, we used to have like the data life cycle and data dispersion. Now, the data flow will also go hand in hand when we are discussing the data life cycle, data dis dispersion. Um, key secrets and certificate management. So, these topics are, are new. Certificate, there was no uh, discussion at all earlier in this exam uh, related to the certificate management. Semi-data, semi-structured data, data locations, this is specific again uh, in relation with the data dispersion, um, uh, data flow. So, though these were being discussed indirectly earlier as well, but now these are being introduced officially. Um, domain 3, um, no change in the weightage while there are some reshufflings in, in the exam. Um, design resilient, it is being added uh, that is related to, uh, you know, how to design a secure data center. So, design, how to achieve the design um, resilience um, during the data center design. A uh, few topics like, uh, you know, the, the reshuffling or we can say the consolidation Although there is there is no change uh, in the fundamentals, for example, the, the risk assessment and analysis, the virtual risk, cloud vulnerability, threat and attacks, countermeasure strategies. Now, this topic is being, you know, uh, called as risk assessment, identification and, and analysis, cloud vulnerabilities, threats and attacks, cloud, uh, you know, risk mitigation strategies. So, at a fundamental level, the topics remain same. It is just the, the, the language change or, you know, the, the reshuffling of uh, these topics in the new outline. Domain 4, um, 
we have now officially uh, you know a few more uh, threat modelings added in the topic in this domain. Um, ATASM um, that is architecture, threat, attack surface and mitigations. Similarly, PASTA it is process for attack simulation and threat analysis. This is uh, being introduced now officially. We used to talk about stride and, uh, and dread earlier, but uh, we were not talking about uh, ATASM and PASTA uh, earlier um, in the threat modeling topic. Also the functional uh, testing we used to have, but now the non-functional as well is being added here. Abuse case testing is being added here as um, you know official topic. Secure coding, it is all new which is being introduced in, in this domain. And this becomes a very, very important topic, um, you know, the OASP and safe code, um, which is very important for, for the exam. CCSP, um, because we have, uh, you know, reduced one percentage of the weightage here, we have reduced, uh, you know, 16 percent, earlier it used to be 17 percent. Uh, but one topic is being added here, infrastructure as a code a strategy. So, IAC strategy is, is a new topic for domain 5. Domain 6, no change, weight is remain same and uh, the privacy impact assessment, it is a new altogether a new topic which is being added in domain 6. PIA, uh, the privacy impact assessment um, becoming a challenge worldwide now and uh, every country is coming up with their different privacy regulations. Uh, we, we have, we, uh, we, ha we already have some privacy regulations in domain 6. But now the privacy uh, impact assessment is, is a new topic uh, for performing um, and discussing the privacy impact assessment um, terminologies and you know uh, uh, the, the, the discussions related to this topic in this domain. That's uh, all about the CCSP exam changes. Uh, hope you like the content. Please like and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.